Hello, everybody, and welcome to video episode number nine of the 90-day video challenge that I'm taking. Uh, today's a really good episode, in my opinion. I'm excited about it anyways. It's on podcast. Not just on you know, the topic of podcasting, but actually an app that makes it quick, fast, easy to produce, right on your iPhone. And that's what I've been doing a lot of my videos on, is how to make this easy for you. Content creation made easy. It's basically what it's boiling down to, right? So, um, that being said, this app for the iPhone is called Boss Jock. B-O-S-S. Jock is in disc jockey. Boss Jock. It's a really nice app. Easy to use. Uh, of course, now, by using an app like this, you can do it from anywhere in the world. Because, again, you have your iPhone with you. So, if you have your iPhone with you, there's no excuse for not creating content, right? Now, of course, you could do it in the computer on like GarageBand or some other audio recording application and then obviously push it out there to the to iTunes or, or wherever you're hosting your podcast at. But with this particular app, I mean, you know, get your little microphone going here, um, get your iPhone going, and bam, you're in business. You have a podcast on the fly. So without further ado, what I want to do is take you right now and show you a little bit about this app. Okay, so here we are with the iPhone. I have my fancy white iPhone today to show you. And as you can see, I'm in my folder, My Pro Studio is a folder I created. It just has some of my production gear that I do uh, for my online content creation uh, apps. But the one we're going to be talking about, obviously, is Boss Jock. So let's go to there. Bam. All right, what I want to do is give you a quick tour here. These little square boxes are called carts. Just like you would if you were uh, working on the radio station, you'd have carts that you'd plug in that would have pre-done audio clips, audio bytes, background music, intro music, outro music, any kind of audio feed you want to have. You can have it pre-set up in these different carts. Um, as you can see, the first one I have here is WT, which is right on target intro number one for my podcast. And then you have up here in the top right, mix, mic, and cart. And each one of these are different volume levels. So mix is the mixing the two volume. Uh, here's your volume slider button. And if I was to click on mic, I can adjust my whoops, excuse me. I can adjust my mic button, my mic audio. And then of course I can do the same thing with cart. Pretty straightforward. Pretty easy to use. Very intuitive little program here. The wonderful thing about this app is that you can do podcasting from anywhere. As long as you have your iPhone with you and a microphone, you can do it from your patio, you can do it from your living room, you can do it from a hotel room, you could do it walking your dog for that matter. I mean, if you have a great idea and you want to get a podcast out there, this is a great app that's always with you to create your own little show. And you can have pre-recorded carts set up so you don't have to think about it anymore. Just boom, hit your intro and then Hit this mic down here and away you go. Speaking of this mic down here, let's show you this. In order to actually record the show, you'd hit this record button and you can see the timer down here going, right? So that means we're recording right now. So if I was to hit the uh, microphone button, I would start recording this show immediately. Uh, my voice anyways. Right now, it's not recording my voice. Even though the timer is going, it's not recording my voice. But if I hit the slider button, See how it pauses it. It didn't stop the recording. It just paused the recording. To resume, all I have to do is hit record again. And see, it picks right back up where we left off. But for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish. I'm just going to stop this, and then I'm going to cancel that recording so I can continue to show you the tour. I'm going to come down here and click Settings. Under the Settings section, you can have uh, your low-cut filter, your carts, your 8 carts or 15 carts. So if you have a lot of little audio bites you're going to put into your show, maybe you're doing a fun show and you have a lot of just, you know, fun sound effects or whatever, you can have more carts there. For the most part, other than that, you're going to leave most of this alone. And then I'm going to show you the recording section down here. That was an old recording I did. So I'm going to back up and you can see that's in here. Um, these are where you store all your recordings when you're done. So let's go back to studio right now. And let's actually have some fun with this. So let's say I wanted to um, 
I'm just going to hit finish and hit cancel and put it back over here. Whoops, don't want to do that. Okay, let me just quickly do that. There we go. All right, so we're back here. Let's just do a real quick, fun, fast recording just to show you what it's like to actually do this. Welcome to another exciting episode of Bright on Target with your host, Norman Wright Jr., also the co-creator of Me and My Brother. <laughs> okay, that was my daughter. Welcome to this episode of Right on Target. My name is Norman Wright Jr., and today we're going to be talking about how to use post podcasting app to do your podcast on the fly, wherever you are. And this app is called Boss Jock. See, what I'm doing right now is just holding my thumb down on that microphone. When I let go, you can see the light goes off and it stops recording. If I hit it again, boom, you can see it, you know, uh, lighting up and you see my audio levels go up. But we're not recording yet. This is just a test just to show you how it works. You know, if, if I actually want to record this episode, and I will real quick right now just to show you, I would click on this record button first. So let's do that. Hit record. So right now I'm recording. You see the timer going. Do the intro with my daughter. Welcome to another exciting episode of Bright on Target with your host, Norman Wright Jr., also the co creator of Me and My Brother. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Right on Target. This is Norman Wright Jr., and I want to thank you for listening to our show today. Today's episode is going to be on easy podcast creation using an app called Boss Jock. And that's it. That's how you record it. See, it's not that hard. Just, bam, get it done. Now, if I want to pause this real quick, I just slide the pause button down there. Well, right now, it's paused, just like I told you about before. If I want to resume, hit record, and the, then the record button. Okay, I'm back live here with the Boss Jock app, and I'm hoping that everybody is learning a lot from this and getting really excited about how to use this tool to enhance their business. And that's what it's all about, giving value to your audience and ultimately growing your business online. So we're going to slide this over again, and I'm going to hit Finish. Boom, we're done. I'm going to call this, label it, Test Podcast 2. Pretty straightforward. I hit save recording. If I come over here to recordings, bam, there it is. I hit that, and then I come in here, I can add my photo. So what I'm going to do is go to my photo library. I want to pick a photo. I'll just pick a scary one of me. Okay, move and scale. We'll just have some fun with it. Just because we can and we're goofy. Description is hello pod. Casters. Hello, podcasters. And then I can obviously, by hitting play, I could preview this in here, but I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just going to go straight to the export function. Hit export. Bam, there I am. So I can have an MP3, MP4, WAV, AI, FF file. We have stereo mono. And then I have a variety of ways of exporting this information out via email, FTP, audio copy. SoundCloud, which is for podcast hosting, your Dropbox, or iTunes Share. So if you have it pre-set up for iTunes, which you should just immediately go in, set up your iTunes podcasting account, you can just hit that button and right out the gates, your uh, podcast is submitted to be in your podcast downloads through iTunes. Pretty cool. Okay, that wraps up this episode of the 90-Day Video Challenge. This was episode number nine. Um, making some good strides with these episodes. I really am enjoying this. I really appreciate all the feedback I'm getting from everybody. It's been very positive so far. But, uh, you know, let me know. If you like the show, what you'd like to see on the next future episodes here on the show. Um, I'm always looking for different ideas to produce these uh, different videos uh, to help you, to add value to you. So also, please like this video and also fo follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, LinkedIn, YouTube. Easy to find me. Just look up Norman Wright Jr. and you'll find me. I'm everywhere. Uh, until tomorrow's episode, I will talk to you later.